Greetings and peace. I hope you and yours are doing well today, wherever you might be watching this from. Now the title of today's discussion will be that the true Freemason always puts God first in all of their endeavors. And why I say that is uh, because recently I received an email and you know as much as I tried to spread love and light and positivity and the truth about Masonic teachings, there are those that won't truly understand. And you know, you can't, you, you can't win with everybody. That's just the nature of the game. And I explained to this individual in the best of my ability that you have this aspect of good and bad existing in all races, religions, and groups of the world. So you might, you have people that hide under the guise of religion, but they're doing bad things behind the scenes. It's, you know, that doesn't mean that that faith is bad or what the scriptures are teaching are bad. So that's why, you know, many people have this misconception about the brotherhood. And of course, I represent myself only when I make these type of videos under free speech and as a free man. So I say the same thing, that the true Masonic teachings and the true Freemasons who follow those are the ones who put God first. Brotherhood, relief, God, doing the right thing, loving your neighbor, loving your family. That's the true believer and the true Freemason. And that's why I say in any of your endeavors, everything revolves around the Creator. That's just the way it works. You have a seed, eventually it will grow into an apple or it will grow into something, but that is that seed's true source. And that's who we are. In Islam, we say that to Allah we belong and to Him we shall return. That's when somebody dies. Because it shows us that we get we get lost in this human life. My friends and brothers and sisters who are listening to this, please take heed to what I'm saying. Is that we get lost in this human life, uh, running after people, degrees, titles, situations, events. And you see each phase of your life, each year, each season. You see yourself as a different individual. Things just happen the way that they're supposed to. It's a divine plan of the cosmos and your life is being painted on the canvas beautifully and vividly by the grand architect of the universe in whichever way you perceive that divinity because it's all one. It's all one one truth. And I've, it, with all the races and religions and philosophies I covered, it's all teaching you the same exact thing. That's what I, the epiphany I had in my own journey of self-improvement and self-discovery. That you have this point within a circle and everything around that circle is a tapestry of different colors and patterns that all goes back to the same source, which is to be celebrated, not condemned. And we have more in common with each other than we realize. We have these um, concepts of uh, like race and being different from each other and saying that treat people based on which area you grew up in or your socioeconomic or your social class or who you associated with and then you end up dealing with the same people marrying with the same people you're not expanding your growth that way and that's what I've seen here in the you know in America majority of the people don't even leave their respective neighborhoods right it's, you know this specific area that I'm in you know the same people that went to school with each other dated each other married each other they stick with each other. They don't expand outside of their knowing of circle. Their kids are going to end up doing the same. So it's a cycle that one has to break through travel and education. And how can you do that? You do that by putting God first. Again, my subject of discussion, that the true believer and the true Freemason puts God first. And you get lost in this human life thinking that you're going to get away with everything. You're not going to. There's so many people, I tell you, that, you know, thought bad about me or tried to do me dirty or plot against me or scheme against me. I look at their situation currently and look at where I'm standing today. So, you know, if you, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to say anything against anybody. You don't have to do anything. Just sit back. Time will answer everything for you. For the individuals that put God first, time will do everything for you. The laws of karma, Almighty Creator, the universe, the Grand Architect, everything, the, you know, the spiel that's, uh, the, the wheel, <laughs> excuse me, that's uh, spinning in motion, that's, things do align perfectly. You just do you. You do you by being the best version of yourself. 
And that's, that's the best thing you could do for individuals that put God first. In this life, you'll be told to chase after money, to do people dirty, throw people under the bus to get to the positions that you're trying to get to. But at the end, you go, you go past the graveyard, everyone has the same size grave, no matter what your race, religion, or uh, economic status, or what you were doing. Someday you will just be a memory, a story, that will be in the hearts and minds of those that remember you. And that's it. And then somehow, some way, in another time, people will remember you. So ultimately, you are just a memory. A memory that will phase out over time. And the reality is, what good did you do for yourself and others? In the Islamic perspective, you know, during the five daily prayers, we believe that God sends the um, angel of death, the archangel, to basically check up on you. And the archangel each time will ask God, can I take his soul now? Can I take it now? Can I take it now? Each time God will say no, only when I tell you to. And of course, there was one time that the this uh, soul of the businessman was supposed to be collected. And when his time was up, it was up. The hourglass had run out. And he cried. He said, what about my wife, my children, my businesses, my money, my assets, my whole life I spent building this empire of mine and he said no you can't take any of that with you and he said what could I take with me he said what good did you do for yourself and others that's your real wealth if you do that you're you're more richer than all of those people the millionaires and trillionaires who are sad depressed on drugs inside they're empty because they know they had to give something up in order to get that money and status and fame you know what I'm saying so be at peace with what you have because you will only be provided for what you need at the right time, at the right place. As this life is like a video game, you'll have the right character, the right doorway, the right event, the right situation. Everything happens accordingly, the way that your divine plan is set up. But you have to put God first. It's like I said, people spend their lives working themselves to death, especially in America. At the end, you got nothing to show for it. Your life is passing before you. And you have a system that's not designed to give you a break. You got to create your own break. And it's telling you to put money first before God. You got to put God first. And the true Freemason or any believer who has a good heart, because ultimately it all comes down to the heart. That's where it's you know truly at. Most people don't realize the esoteric nature of the heart. And the chambers of the heart, even the Sufi tells us that you got to look into the heart. <laughs> Once you open your heart and let your heart be your guiding key and follow your heart and put put the you know the plans of the creator first there is nobody on this earth that could scheme against you stop you destroy you plot against you they're going to fall into their own holes i could give you so many examples of my own personal life but trust me just be a good human being have a clean heart and you know let the will of the creator be done through your physical vessel and that's what I say. Each morning I wake up, I ask Almighty God, use me how you see fit. With all the things that I'm meant to do, people that I'm meant to see, places that I'm meant to go, use me how you see fit to do thy work on this, on this realm with whatever time that I had been allotted. Use me how you see fit to spread love, humanity, unity, peace, love, safety, endurance, prosperity, courage. To all the beings of this earth through my vessel use me how you see fit and I surrender and submit to the will of the divine that my friends is the real spiritual wealth and that's what makes you a millionaire if you do that and nobody on this earth no power on this earth can stop you scheme you destroy you or send people in your in your in your life at, in the guise of uh, mates lovers friends in the in, in the attempts to demoralize you and destroy you at the end, they're all gonna fall into their own hole in this aspect of spiritual warfare. That's why the true believer and the true Freemason puts God first. If you do that, what is this human life? How fast does this life go? Life is beautiful, but it's short. How fast does it go? Where you're growing up, okay, now you're going through school, and then before you know it, oh, my 10 year high school anniversary is approaching. Oh, my 20 year anniversary is approaching. Oh, this happened, that happened. Oh, before you know it, game over. So don't don't take things too seriously. 
love, forgive, keep your heart light, travel light, you know, to be a traveler. Always have a light heart, light heart, forgive, forget. And <laughs> before you go to sleep, always think, if I don't wake up, what, how, how will I show myself to the divine architect in whichever way you perceive that divinity? Because it's all the same. It's all the same source. And what I say is, what good did you do for yourself and others? That cannot be stressed enough. That message cannot be stressed enough in a world that's full of deceit, deception, materialism, getting over on people, plotting against others, scheming against others, spiritual warfare. Trust me, no one gets away with anything. You have this aspect of the Almighty Creator, the 99 names of Allah. One of the names is Al-Basir. In the Masonic terminology, you have the same thing. The eye of the grand architect of the universe. And that's just how, how the way things work. That's how things work, as you see. Right here. The eye of the creator. So you're always under that observation. And your light, your love, your actions, how you treat yourself, your family... One day it's, it's going to be a movie that flashes before your eyes and you're going to realize I could have said something better, I could have did something better, I could have known something better. I could have been more empathetic in my dealings with self and others. As everyone has a right to you. And the right to your kindness and the right to your humility and the right to your love. So, you know, you got to think about these things that I'm telling you. Imam Ali a great Sufi Grand Master and a cousin and son-in-law of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that he who sells this life for the next loses either of them. You look at these people in these different industries, they sell out for fame and fortune. What do they get at the end? Right? Pain, emptiness, misery. And it's done. It's done. And that's it. Do the right thing. Have little, but be at peace. It's like with me. I don't chase after anyone or anything. Because I know what's meant for me will never escape me. I, I believe so much. And it's your belief and your trust in the Creator's plan for you and surrendering yourself to the will of the Creator that all these things kind of fall in place for you. People ask me, Sal, like, how do you do all this? You know, you have a good life, you're doing all of this, you're going to London, you're going to Pakistan, you're going here, you're meeting these people, you're doing this. I said, my heart is clean. I surrender to the will of the Creator and He uses me how He sees fit. Only God knows. I can't explain it to you, how things happen the way that they do. It's just the way it is. It's like when God asked King Solomon or Prophet Suleiman in Islam, peace be upon him, is that, Oh, Suleiman, what is it that you desire? And he said, the only thing I want is wisdom. And to do the will of the Creator, since he was a prophet. So just the aspect of knowledge and to do the will of the Creator. What the Mason, the true Mason strives for. And just because of that, God gave him the rest of the whole package as well. So when you're in that heart where you don't desire materialism or chasing after things or titles, even if you don't ask for it, it's given to you because it's your heart. I mean, you will have, if you're on that quest for knowledge, don't worry about how your needs will be met. Somehow, some way, things will fall in place for you. But that's if, if you're on a true quest of self-improvement and knowledge and putting God first and all of those great things. I've been in situations where people can't even imagine how I got out of it, but I did because I trust God. I trust this plan for me. And I realized that if it weren't for those things, I wouldn't be the person that I am today. It's the aspect of the growth and realizing who you are, trusting the plan of the creator. He does have a sense of humor and he will put you through different things because he already knows the end outcome that he's going to look up and say, okay, yeah, I know why you did what you did. I realize it now. Maybe I was young, dumb, and naive before, but now I, I get it. So that's, that's just it. You got to realize the plan of the Creator. And be at peace with yourself. 
That's why the true Freemason is always laughing and smiling because he puts God first. I cannot stress that enough. You gotta put God first. The one who puts God first, all your needs, difficulties, anxieties, calamities, everything. Like how you have a block of snow that melts as soon as spring, spring blooms on Mother Earth. So too shall your worries, anxieties, fears, and worries, and everything in general. You gotta do the right thing with the time that's been given to you. Don't waste your time. Don't spend your time thinking down on others, plotting against others, doing others dirty. It's not gonna do anything for you. Trust me. Be a human being that loves his family, his friends, his community, his neighbors. Ask for forgiveness when he or she messes up. Doesn't be in a state of denial. Respects the divine feminine masculine within you and around you. Whichever way that it manifests as. Treat everyone with respect. Your mothers, your fathers, your sons, your daughters. Be a responsible individual. Handle your responsibilities. Be at peace. Always keep smiling, like I mentioned in one of my earlier videos. And no. Look at all the things you went through in your life. Somehow, some way, things got handled, right? And you are dealing with the things that you are meant to be dealing with. That's just the way things have been set up. That's just the way the Creator has planned our lives. You can't, you have the good and bad. Order, chaos, disorder, chaos, and order and chaos, etc. Whichever way you want to put it. It's all there to balance each other out. One cannot exist without the other. So, you know, it's like what it says in the Holy Quran, that we test you with both good and evil as trials, and to us you shall be returned. So both the aspect of good and evil come from the Creator as a test, the black and white tiles, good times, bad times, bad times, good times, order out of chaos, order chaos, light, darkness. If only one existed, then the either or would lose its purpose. So too, the moments in your life, the ups and the downs. You, you can't just be a good time all the time. Who remembers God in good times? Nobody. It's when things happen and you be like, okay, God, I, I, need, I need your intercession in my life. I need your help. Use me how you see fit. And it happens. Trust me, it happens. You have to ask. And know when things are wrong, when things need to happen, See that 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 beep is my synchronicity. That you know I'm 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 sharing the truth with humanity. That you have to put God first in your life. Put the love of God first and watch how everything will bloom, like flowers and trees in the spring. Let go, forgive, heal. Know thyself. Know thy Lord. Know thy Lord. Know thyself. You have to do it. <laughs> And just know that everything in your life, it made you who you are today. And it's going to continue shaping you. That perfect ashlar. And you see, a, uh, if you've seen a structure of that marble figure and the perfect individual carving himself out of that figure, chiseling himself. And it's a quote from uh, Rumi as well, from the Mevlevi Sufi order, about, you know, chiseling yourself as the perfect carpenter. And, you know, chipping away at your imperfections until you become a one with your creator. Because in the Sufi perspective, we believe Allah is the only reality. Everything else is an illusion and an extension of that perfect being experiencing itself through itself. Such as, you know, what I'm sharing with you, doing the will of thy creator. So that's, it. that's just the way it is, my friends, my brothers, my sisters, whoever is watching this. Love your families, love yourselves, forgive yourselves, forgive others. Put the Creator first in whichever way you perceive that divinity, through whatever spiritual, religious, or philosophical outlook that you have, because it's all connected to that oneness. It's all one at the end, as I've, you know, realized in my epiphanies of studying these different paths. So, it's all about your heart. Clean your heart. Do good by, by, your, by thyself and others. Don't do anybody dirty. Don't plot against anybody. Don't scheme against anybody. Because he knows. He knows.
So do the right thing with the time that you have and be good. Be good people. Put God first. Put God first. The true Freemason puts God first. And trust me, you will have nothing but peace in your life. I give my love and light to you, your families, and all that you hold near and dear for the rest of October ahead. And may you have love, peace, safety, prosperity, and happiness in your lives in all the ways possible and more. That all your worries, sorrows, anxieties, it all melts away. Just put everything on a bridge. Let it float away. Let it be transmuted into love, light, and happiness. So thank you all again very much. Be well, be kind, and let the will of thy creator be done. Surrender yourself to that divinity and submit, and everything will work out for you. Much love to you and yours, and thank you. Have a great rest of October.